Hey guys, it's Lisa from Turning Pages and welcome to yet another book haul. I recently ordered a couple of books off of Book Outlet and I ended up ordering quite a few more than I thought I would, so I do have about 12 books to show you. If you've noticed that I'm wearing the exact, exact same shirt as I am in my last video, that's because I'm recording it in the same day in the hopes that I will be editing them both today as well. But let's face it, that's probably not gonna happen. You'll probably be seeing this a couple days later. So I did pick up 12 books, so let's just get right into it because no more lollygagging. So the first two books that I picked out is Incarnate by Jody Meadows and A Sonder by Jody Meadows. I know there's a third book. I'm not sure if there's a fourth one or not, but I absolutely love the covers of these books. They both look so, so good. And um, I love the way they look when you have them sitting on your shelf. Carne is about a girl and her name is Anna. And Anna lives in a world where um, souls are basically reincarnated and they have been for millions and millions of years. So when Anna is born, she's basically a new soul and that's really weird and really out of the blue for the society she lives in. So her own mom even thinks that she's a bad omen for what's to come in the future. And I don't really know too much about this because I don't, I honestly don't want to ruin anything for myself. But all I know is like they get attacked by dragons and somehow she's trying to find out if it's her own fault or what's going on. Definitely excited to read these ones. Have heard such, such good things. From Book Outlet, I also picked up um, April Lynn Pike's new book, Life After Theft. I've been meaning to read a few of April Lynn Pike's books and I have a couple of her Wings series, but I don't own all of them. And then I saw that this one was on Book Outlet, so I picked up this one as well. I have seen this one around a little bit in the blogging world and in the booktubing community, but I don't truly know what it's about, but I heard it was really funny and an enjoyable read. Um, there's a main character and her name's Kimberly, and she goes to this new school just to find out that no one can really hear or see her, except for one guy, and I am not sure what his name is. His name's Jeff, except for Jeff, and she finds out that she's kind of like this soul, like she's dead with unfinished business and that's why she can't move on to the other side or whatever so sounds really interesting haven't read anything like this love the cover looks perfect for a summer read and i'll definitely have to read it because i've heard so many 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 good things about april and pike's writing and yet i haven't read any of her books book outlet they had the first one in paperback and it's a little bent but that's okay um, and this one is Envy by Greg Olson. The cover on this one and the second one are so creepy, but really, really, like, good looking. And this, um, this series is about two girls. Their names are Haley and Taylor. And they live in this town, or they're visiting this town that's kind of really strange, and a lot of just weird things happen in this town. And they kind of have this, like, twin sense power, so... With that power and whatever comes with that power, they try to discover what's going on in this town and what's really happening behind the scenes or behind the closed doors. So definitely have been excited to pick this one up. I've seen this cover around a lot. I didn't even know that there was a second one until I saw it in the store a while back. So I'm excited to get to these. My Not So Still Life by Liz Gallagher is the next book that I picked up from Book Outlet. I haven't really read any reviews and I haven't really seen any ratings for this one, but I absolutely love the cover and the synopsis sounded really good. It's basically about a girl and her name is Vanessa. She's completely different from anybody she knows. She obviously likes to wear her makeup very colorful and has her hair dyed. She's really an artsy kind of person and she doesn't really connect with too many of the other people. She's really interested in growing up and becoming an adult and even working at her favorite art supply store 
So she's excited for high school to finally end and for her to move on to her adult life. But she meets this guy and his name is James and he brings her into these situations that she was never in before. That kind of makes her change her mind or kind of makes her realize that maybe being an adult isn't all that fun or isn't all it's made out to be. The next book I have to show you is The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making by Catherine Valenti. Valenti? This has <laughs> the longest title of a book that I've ever read. Um, I know it's a children's book, but I've heard really, really amazing things about it, and it's a Burn Bright book club um, monthly read. Um, not for a while though, but I just went ahead and picked it up since it was on clearance at Book Outlet. It's about a girl and her name is September. Her dad is at war, so I'm guessing he's a military man, and her mom is at work. And she's actually greeted by this guy and his name is like Green Wind, I think, and he's in a human form. And he asks her to join him on an adventure in Fairyland. And so this book describes her entire journey and how she has to help the people or the fairies of Fairyland. So again, it's a children's book, but I'm still pretty excited to see how it goes and see how um, I like it. I also picked up Shadowfell by Juliet Morellier. Moreller. And um, this is another Burn Bright book club monthly pick. And I'm reading this one right now. And I'm only two chapters into it, but I'm I'm really, really enjoying like the beginning. It's not a book where you have to read a couple chapters to finally get into it and to finally reach like the plot. This one starts right at the beginning. You get right into it from page one. And that's really, really exciting. This one's about a girl and her name is Neri. Naren, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but um, she she can communicate with fairies somehow or people that are fairy-like. I haven't gotten that far into the book yet, but um, the king or the the kingdom she lives in, there's actually a king, and he's capturing and kidnapping all the people in his kingdom that have magical powers. But um, she's on the run. She doesn't want to get captured. She doesn't want to be brought to the king. So she heads to this place called Shadowfell. And in this Shadowfell area, like there's a group of rebels that are actually training to take over or um, what is it? Overthrow the king. And so she heads there and to see and to see what's going on and stuff. I'm so out of breath. The first one is Until I Die by Amy Plum. Haven't read the first one of this. Love the covers of these and have heard a few good things. And it has, a, they both have, um, I think this is the second book. Both the first and the second book have really good ratings on Goodreads. The next one is Stunning by Sarah Shepard. I'm actually rereading the series this month. I just finished reading the first one the other day and um, I love the series. I can't say enough about this series. It's total, like, it's just a really, really good series, especially if you're looking for a lighter, kind of more chick, teenage girl drama kind of a read. Um, these are definitely the ones you want to go for. And that's The Dark and Hollow Places by Carrie Ryan. This trilogy has been around quite a bit. Haven't read too much about it. I don't really know what it's about. But the covers look really like creepy and kind of scary. So I'm kind of getting into that right now. So have to read this one soon. Then when I saw this one on Book Outlet, I had I had to get it. I just had to get it. There's I just have to. That's it. There's no reason. No, no excuses. I just had to get it. And it's The Girl of Nightmares by Kendra Ken Kendar. Kendare, Ken, Kendra, Blake, <laughs> and um, I have not read Anna Dressed in Blood. I do not own Anna Dressed in Blood, but when this was on Book Outlet for only a couple dollars and it's hardback, I just picked it up. Just like put it into my cart, got it. Then I picked up the fourth and final book in the Body Finder series by Kimberly Durding, and this is Dead Silence. 
loved the first three books i love kimberly durding i've met her a couple times and i've had her sign a couple of my books and she is absolutely amazing so i was excited to finally get to this one i've been meaning to read it for a while but then for some reason i completely forgot like to even pick it up so when i saw it on book outlet i picked it up and i'm excited to read it and if you don't really know what this one's about or the series is about it's about a girl and her name i think is it's been so long since i read it her name is Violet and she can sense or she can see when someone has murdered someone. So if she looks at somebody, she can usually sense that that person has killed someone or something. So it's really interesting. I have no idea what's going to happen in this one. She also has a really, really cute relationship in the first three books. I'm not sure if it carries on into the fourth one, but yes, I am pretty pumped to finish this series and I can't wait. So that's all the books that I picked up from Book Outlet. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that. I know these videos are kind of long and I'm trying my best to make them short, but yet still kind of describe the book a little bit. So I hope that's okay. Um, if you read any of these books, like always, feel free to comment down below. I would always, I always love hearing what you guys have to say and what you guys think, but try to keep it <laughs> spoiler free because I'm reading, I'm not reading the synopsis of the books and series to not like give myself any, give anything away to myself. So if you guys could refrain from putting spoilers in the comments, that would be awesome as well. So yeah, again, thanks for watching and feel free to check out my blog. It's um, turningpages94.blogspot.com or follow me on Twitter at turningpages11 or check out my other videos. So yeah, bye guys.